Kiss. Kiss. 106.5. It's the Kyle and Jackie O Show this morning here at Kiss FM. Matthew McConaughey, a Golden Globe winner, Oscar nominee. That's very, that's big time that's stuff impressive. here. That's We would get him on the phone, say congratulations, say good luck. Hey, Matthew. Matthew. Morning. Thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, the Oscar nomination has got to be one of the highlights. Uh, where where were you? when you, Were you watching this on the TV? Do you actually go to the function when they announce it? Where were you? No, I was actually I, I was actually in bed. My wife set the alarm to 5.15, mm-hmm. uh, threw an elbow over there, woke me up. I had a look and listened to him and I uh, was really delighted to hear my name called. And so many of the names called for are the, the picture, Dallas Buyers Club. I mean, he got the went up for Best Picture, Best Editing, Best Screenplay. Jared Leto got a Supporting Actor nom, Hair and Makeup. We really, really had a good showing here for the great nomination. Run. When you, in case you win the Oscar, you're going to have to prepare a, an acceptance speech. Yeah. Oh, man, well, how good was his Golden Globe speech? I mean, that was just great. Do you feel like, you know, there's something you you got to start working on that now <laughs> in case you win? No, you know, I mean, look, I, I just, I just, the Golden Globe speech, I just, I just winged it. I mean, because here's what happens. You're sitting there, I was sitting in the Golden Globe, and I'm like, well, what if I do win? What am I going to say? And then I started going in my head, well, here's what I would say. And as soon as I started thinking that, I was like, oh, no, stop it. You're McConaughey. You're going to coup to God. If you start preparing a speech for something you haven't even won yet, there's no way you're going to win it. So I stopped thinking about it, and I had nothing prepared. And then they called my name, and I got up there and just said what I felt. So I don't, uh, I don't foresee myself um, thinking too much about any kind of Oscar acceptance speech. I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy the nomination part, and if, if my name, if I'm fortunate enough to get called, I'll have something good to say. You, you said in your speech uh, that your wife Camilla calls you King, the King. Is that? Is, can I ask why? How did that nickname come about? No, no, it's not a nickname. It's just what every man can become. I mean, you're a prince before you before you meet your, your queen and you have children. You know, once you have children, then, you, then you, you're the king of the house. Mm. That's just what it is. She doesn't, she doesn't always call me that, I promise you. Okay. Oh, I'm sure there's a few other things she calls you from time to time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, yeah, I'm still stuck in the toad level. 14 minutes. I'm the toad level still, so I go toad, toad prince, then king. <laughs> <laughs> you lived uh, in Australia for uh, around a year. I think it was near the entrance, a year after high school, right? Yeah, I came over two weeks out of high school. Why did you, any reason you, you came over to live here? And why the entrance? Like one of the worst places here. <laughs> <laughs> like who goes there? Uh, listen, no, I, got out, I got out of high school. I was graduating high school. I'm like every other kid in the world. Yeah. You know, and I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do with my life. You know, I was looking for some adventure. Are you ever good at the Aussie accent? Because Meryl Streep said to, to perfect the Aussie accent, there's a trick where she said you just don't move your jaw very much. Uh, did How you... dare she? <laughs> What is when wrong with her? When I was over there, <laughs> with Meryl Streep, she's pretty good at whatever accent she does and whatever she does, isn't she? she is. um, I don't know that trick about not moving your jaw. Um, <laughs> but I will say that while I was over there, um, you know, it seemed to come out of my mouth all right. And when I got back over here, it was much easier. <laughs> at least I, I, could, I could fool them easy. When I, when I was back over here, that could really fool them. Oh, tell yeah. us about True Detective. This is coming up on Foxtel here in Australia yeah, on looks Showcase. Good. It looks great. And you, you and Woody uh, are doing this this uh, series together. Been getting rave reviews. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's an eight-part miniseries. And uh, there's one murder, and Woody and I are two detectives that are trying to track down who did it. Um, and the murder mystery. I actually becomes a subplot, subplot, and it's kind of a secondary story pretty quickly. And he and I couldn't be more opposite as far as in who we are and get on each other's nerves quite heavily. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a comedy, although I find it quite hilarious. Woody's the kind of guy that if you show – he may show up to your wedding two days late, <laughs> but he wouldn't mind – it doesn't, doesn't bother him at all if you showed up to his wedding a week late. <laughs> he, he doesn't care – and that's what's so easy about that guy. Okay, we wish you all the best of luck. I want you to win that Oscar. You deserve it. Uh, it'll sit up nicely beside that Golden Globe. Yeah, good luck, Matthew. Yeah, we think you're excellent, man. Thanks for the well, chat. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful time in my career, and I appreciate it. And good talking to you on. Hello to everybody down under there, right? Thank you, mate. Love to the family. Matthew McConaughey this morning right here at Kiss FM. Kiss. Kiss. 106.5.